YouTube. My name is Natalie. I'm a criminal defense attorney. Welcome to my channel. This will be the last of deposition week. Has it been a consecutive week? Absolutely not. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> I've done about five, four videos, maybe four, um, on depositions in recent memory. And I thought that this would be a fun way to close it out. I've been really busy with work, guys, so I wanted to pick a fun one. This was sent to me by KC. Thank you very much, KC. And it is uh, called Verbatim, What is a Photocopier? So it's the New York Times reenacting real deposition. So the deposition is real, but this is a reenactment of the uh, transcript from the deposition. I hope that you guys enjoy this. I, I need a little laugh, so let's get right into it. So at the very heart of this is whether or not they're charging $2 for photocopying in Cuyahoga County. And the device used to record information from your computer system onto the master CD is a device within the recorder's office. Is that correct as opposed to being in some other building somewhere? Yes. During your tenure in the computer department at the recorder's office, has a recorder's office had photocopy machines? Objection. Any photocopy machine? When you say photocopying machine, what do you mean? <laughs> so I'm sure that <laughs> I love the little dramatic flourish of, of course, the court reporter can't say anything unless like it's, you know, I can't hear you or anything or the stenographer, whatever you want to call her. I can't hear you or could you please repeat that? But I love how they added in the little bit of what? <laughs> So whether or not it's photocopying or they were using photocopiers is an issue in the case, is it? Hmm. Let me be, let me make sure I understand your question. You don't have an understanding of what a photocopying machine is? No, I wanna make sure that I answer your question correctly. Dave, I'll object to the tone of the question. You make it sound like it's unbelievable to you that he wouldn't know what the definition of a photocopy machine is. I didn't ask him to define it. I asked him if he had it. When you say photocopy machine, what do you mean? Okay. <laughs> All right. So trying to understand what's going on here, someone has been advised by their attorney to never answer just yes or no on the question, to ask for clarification on everything. Um, and that's a strategy, you know, not one that I like. I actually tell my clients just to answer the question, but don't to give any further elaboration, just yes or no, don't give any further clarification. But if you don't understand something, ask for them to explain it to you. But this guy, I think he's had a little bit too much coaching from his attorney. That's probably what's happened here. He's been a little overcoached and now he can't even have like a rational back and forth <laughs> with the attorney. <laughs> Let me be clear. The term photocopying machine is so ambiguous that you can't picture in your mind what a photocopying machine is in an office setting. Objection, argumentative. I just want to make sure I answer your question correctly. Well, we'll find out. If you can say yes or no, I can do follow-ups. But it seems if you really don't know in an office setting what a photocopying machine is, I'd like the Ohio Supreme Court to hear you say so. I just want to make sure I answer your question correctly. There's different types of photocopiers, Dave. Uh, sir! <laughs> Is that, was that ever an issue? Whether or not there's different types of photocopying machines? He was just asking, are there photocopy machines? I, I don't know what you mean by photocopy machines. Uh, different types is a whole different question altogether. And you know, um, it's great that this uh, attorney who handles more civil work is, uh, she's one of my subscribers and I'm, I'm blanking on her name. But she said, you know, the reason they don't like speaking obje objections at these depositions is because what the attorney is doing really is coaching their, their witness. They're coaching their client uh, to basically say like, oh, this is why I don't understand or this is why I can't answer. So <laughs> that's clearly what's going on here. There's some coaching happening. You're speaking instead of, you're not in a row. This guy is. I understand that. 
but I understand what his objection is. He's not making an objection. It's your job to make an objection. And you're not supposed to obstruct your client from being able to answer the questions. This is hilarious. A little shady. <laughs> you want him to answer the question? I don't think it's fair. It's not fair? It's not a fair question. A photocopy machine can be a machine that uses photostatic technology, that uses xerographic technology, that uses... But they're all photocopy machines. So no matter what type of photocopy machine is, you can answer whether or not you have them in your office. The scanning technology? I don't care what kind of technology it uses. <laughs> Has your offices... We don't have technocrats on the Ohio Supreme Court. We've got people like me, general guys Objection. or gals. I'm not really very interested in what the technology element of it is. I want to know. That's what's at issue in the case. Now. Not in my judgment. Do you have photocopy machines at the recorder's office? If you don't know what that means in an office setting, please tell the court you don't know what that means in an office setting to have a photocopy machine. <laughs> I would like to answer your question to the best of my ability. I'm asking. So then answer the question. Oh, you have been so coached by your attorney. Okay, so like it happens. It's done. But we're really not supposed to do that. We're not supposed to tell the client what to say. We're supposed to tell them to, you know, testify honestly, advise them of any potential pitfalls. But, you know, going into the deposition, your client should know you know, to answer the questions uh, truthfully. Um, and, you know, unless there's something like a Fifth Amendment issue where you're going to invoke the Fifth, you really don't want to get into these types of mental gymnastics because ultimately what it looks like is that you're being dishonest. <laughs> you need to answer that. So if you could explain to me what you mean by... I'm not going to do that because I want you... I want to establish on the record that you really don't know what it is. I want to establish that. Now, do you know what it is or do you not know what it is? Do you understand what that term means in common parlance or not? Common parlance? Common language. I'm sorry. I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> you probably genuinely didn't know what that one meant. But you definitely know what a photocopy machine is. Say Xerox. <laughs> I understand that there are photocopy machines and there are different types of them, just like there are. Are there any parts. in the recorder's office? Some of them office? are under gas power, some of them under electric power. And I'm asking if you could help me out by explaining what you mean by photocopy That's machine. That's a great point. Instead of trying to make me feel stupid. If you feel stupid, it's not because I'm making you feel stupid. <laughs> I just. I, oh, I needed this laugh. What a long day it's been. I just love, like absolutely love the actors that they picked for this. And the guys are doing great. I mean, the examining attorney is spot on. <laughs> but the looks that are being served by the secretary back here are just so funny to me. <laughs> Not secretary, stenographer, I'm sorry. Objection. I have self-confidence and I have no problem. I don't think you're stupid. I think... Mm -hmm. I don't have any problem answering the question. I think you're- So then answer the question. I think I would lose it at that point. I would lose it. I would like to believe I wouldn't, but maybe I would. <laughs> Playing games with me. Dave, the word photocopying is at issue in this case. And you're I, asking him- I knew it. it. Is or isn't a photocopy machine. I knew that it was at issue, you know, like the term photocopying, like, what does it mean to allow someone to photocopy? It's just like when Bill Clinton, you know, who is who was a lawyer, um, you know, when he, he uh, was asked about something, he said, well, it depends on what your definition of is is, you know, like that's why people hate lawyers, like those type of semantics and pedantic type of language. People hate that. <laughs> you know what they mean by photocopy machine. Do you have a machine that can take a piece of paper and reproduce that piece of paper onto another piece of paper? <laughs> Which is a legal conclusion. This isn't a patent case. There's no statute that defines or I'm asking him to define <laughs> technology for me. I'm asking. I want to find out from a layperson's perspective, not from an engineer's perspective, not from a technician's perspective, but from... I have an idea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. How about this? Have you ever heard the term photocopier or photocopy used in the recorder's office by anybody? Photocopy? 
I'm sure in the time I've been there, someone has used the term. And have you ever heard them use it in referencing a particular device or machine within the recorder's office? By way of example, can you photocopy that for me? That's an example of office parlance. That particular terminology I've not witnessed. What? Xerox. I'm telling you. What was the context that you heard the term photocopy used in the recorder's office? Well, I'm sure it's been used. Uh, I didn't say I remembered a specific instance. All right. But you have a general understanding that people... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is horrible. <laughs> It makes you want to rip your own hair out just listening to it. You have used the term photocopy within the recorder's office in terms of something that could be done there. Is that true? I'm sure it's been used. I don't remember a specific instance or how it was used. I'm sure it's been used. And is it fair to say that it's been used in terms of being able to copy one piece of paper onto another piece of paper using a machine? No? Not sure of that? I'm sure it's been used. <laughs> I don't recall a specific instance in which it was. Oh my gosh, you are overcoached, man. And it is not going to help your case. Get out of here. <laughs> Do you have a secretary? No. Does anybody there have a secretary? Yes. Have you ever heard a secretary use the term photocopy? No. Have you ever? Do you have machines there where I can put in a paper document? Push a button or two, and out will come copies of that paper document, also on paper. Do you have such a machine? Yes, sir. What do you call that machine? Xerox. goodness guys well i just uh want to say if we're gonna ground this back into reality into the actual practice of law because the you know it's the new york times i'll trust that this is a real recording of an actual case i, I trust it <laughs> based on my own experience <laughs> but grounding this back into the practice of law a witness purposefully and repeatedly refusing to answer the question, especially during a deposition. And that's what he's doing. You know, he's, he's, he's trying not to answer the question. I think at that point he could move for sanctions. But the attorney was trying his best to break down what a photocopier is. You put it in the machine, it makes a copy, it comes out. <laughs> and the guy just would not cooperate. Uh, and I love at the very end, like I said at the beginning, just say it's a Xerox because that's what people call it. They don't call it the photocopier machine. At least that's what people my age and a bit older will call it. They'll call it a Xerox Xerox machine. So can did you guys learn much from that? No, and I'm sorry, but gosh, that was funny. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we're going to be starting doing um, interrogations this week. I'm going to be using edited versions of uh, popular interrogation videos to kind of explain to you, you know, where the witness or, or the suspect has gone wrong, what they're doing right, what the police have done wrong, what they've done right. It's very important because um, people don't realize a lot of you will end up interacting with the police and you think it's just a conversation. It ends up you're actually being interrogated. It happens. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and I'll talk to you later. Bye.